So hi guys in today's video we are going to take a look at Android 7 dot on Nougat which was long awaited for this U Euphoria but it's a very developer friendly device and it has finally got the Android 7 dot on Nougat ROM for it. This is the Sunshine mode porting ROM for those who are asking and currently it's in very alpha stage so if the device, <laughs> device wants to show you the all of the features it will show you in the not. So for example this notification panel it only opened for me uh, like twice or once so i recorded it to show you now it won't work now it doesn't work at all i tried pulling up some notifications in order to slide it down but no no luck over here initial impressions very smooth and fast now luckily on my device the camera is also fully working but it doesn't click pictures or it does nope it doesn't click pictures i don't know why it surely saves a thumbnail over here but if i give it nope the device doesn't click pictures but finally but luckily my camera is working so that's a good thing many of the people don't get it work and also the front camera quality is much better but it's more yellowish kind dial up so the cellular connectivity is working but the voltage is not so you will be not using your geo sim i guess i don't have a geo sim so i can't try it on mm, initial impressions very fast and smooth i don't know what this app is hrd but it's just crashing go to settings it just readjusts itself every time change wallpaper wi-fi and stuff display and it's 7.0 no good here it is let's just crack that easter egg so we can't uh, normally play with the easter egg cause the notification panel is not working and it's regarding to the notification panel sunshine mode api 7 you also get the latest uh, august patch august 5 which is good but you can't enable the uh, developer options yet with uh, tapping on build number i don't know why Let's just explore some bunch of settings. Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth I not tested. Display adaptive brightness works. Show network operator works. Wallpaper not much of things. Double twist or camera sometimes works. Sometimes it triggers the camera, but no. It's like the Moto. Double to double. Okay, <laughs> twice press for camera. Maybe it works. And two. It just enables the device, it doesn't open the camera, that's pretty weird. Lift to wake works sometimes. So the motion gestures works only if the device wants to show. As I said earlier before, tap to wake works. Ambient display not tested. When device is rotated and cast. Now this is when device is in VR mode. So it's like a daydream option. But it doesn't work currently. Battery at notification line. So the option here is missing is the live display because if you uh, boot this rom uh, for first two first two three boots it will be very yellowish i don't know why first of all i thought it was only my device notifications not much to fiddle around over here the system here is only partially working because uh, as you can see the notification panel is not working not the lock screen you don't get a lock screen on this camera sorry wrong but i got the lock screen one, only once i will show you a picture over here that's it battery you do get a battery setup over here box i as it should memory this is a pretty memory hungry uh, like you know only 700 mb is uh, available but because in some ROMs of Sunshine Mode 13 I have seen you do get a lot of like 1.2 GB of okay so you do get a free of 1.2 GB which is good later it will be I don't know why the figures are not stable at all users location security accounts Google data and time accessibility not much of things over here so the display size is also there and it works pretty cool let me show you i made everything small go back 
the dpi has been adjusted which is very good if you have a smaller bigger device it would be very useful to you for 5 inch it, it fits me perfect click up to pointer stop much of things color correction is also there not deep like the samsung device and that's it you do get a panel over here to swipe i don't know why it's there because if you go into some string you can easily back off but it's still over here pretty nice addition to the android now the home and recent buttons are not working so i can't show you the multi window nor the recent apps so for that this rom is very in alpha stage right now now the gallery is also there it works totally fine camera clock audio effects also work but the audio is too low to in order to use the speaker but on headphones it works just pretty fine you can't just expect right now a bunch of things so guys thanks for watching this was my review for silent mode 13 on u euphoria and if you want to installation please subscribe to the channel i will be uh, uploading the installation for this rom uh, tomorrow because it's bit tricky right now so guys thanks for watching peace